Cisco's latest update is exciting. Yes, it is, at least in my eyes. Just about 48 hours ago, probably now a bit longer ago by the time this video goes up, Valve introduced a new game mode to CSGO, Danger Zone, a fun little battle royale map. Alongside with it, they made the game free to play. Some of my thoughts in here, some early thoughts, I don't feel I can get the entire situation just after two days yet. Nobody can at least, not for now, I feel like. Two things that attract new players, two changes that, as far as I can think back, propel this update to be the biggest CSGO has ever seen. Nothing really will ever be the same, mostly to it being free to play. Do they want to rival the Battle Royale trend that is happening right now? I'm not a Valve employee, so I can't tell you, but it's definitely a smart way to get players to give CSGO a try. And as we all know, if you dip your toe into CSGO, you most likely will never really leave this beautiful game. I dipped my toe into the Counter-Strike franchise in 2004. Here I am 14 years later, still talking about and playing the game. I've anticipated a big update just like this for a while, even waited two nights live on the stream with my community and then proceeded to play Danger Zone and stream Seas Go for over 10 hours. Was it worth it? I say yes, but not because the Battle Royale mode is groundbreaking, but because it sparked something in me again, something I've been missing for quite some time. You know. When you've spent over 10,000 hours in CSGO creating videos and playing competitive, casual, deathmatch and all sorts of variety matches that there are for Counter-Strike, you start to feel a little bit... the same. Yeah, the same. I for myself welcome change. I am open for it. I don't like to jump on saying every change is great and for the better, but I definitely welcome it. If something is complete... uh, shit, I voice it. Once I have my time to check it out. If something is really good, I voice that as well. You should know that by now after all these years. But I do not like to blindly just throw my opinion out there about things. I know it's a very common thing to bug content creators and personalities that came with the enormous growth of the gaming and esports industry and it seems to me that many of these personalities share a very strong opinion about something just out of the blue. Even when they do not really have tested or worked themselves into the topic. It's Shocking, to say the least. Well, anyway, during the update release time and even hours beyond it, I engaged heavily on Twitter, as well on Twitch, with viewers, streamers, and everyone in general about the update. Noticing the general reaction is very negative. Even going as far as calling these guys now officially off the hook. Counter-Strike is now dying. The developers of Valve decided to ultimately kill the community and its vibes, disrespecting the community, and so much more I can't even remember. It's shocking. It's shocking, to say the least. The Battle Royale mode I found to be chill to play with friends, something where you can lean back and have a good time, a casual side that I've missed for a while. Maybe I just like it that much, as Cisco didn't really offer a lot of diversity lately. I mean, well, you know, all that Cisco has been for me in the past months, solo queue and face it, matchmaking, and you know how those work. Boys, bare-fisted damage done to enemies. Wait, why does it say bare-fisted? So it actually tells me that I fisted an enemy. Very nice. I love it. Unless in a five-man stack, which I rarely get to do nowadays due to most of my all girlfriends girlfriends playing different games, having new jobs, different jobs and so on, where you have a lot of fun due to the people you play with, it sort of turned to be either having fun while winning or tilting while losing which killed my mood more often than not. Is the Battle Royale mode groundbreaking? Hell no, it isn't. It's a fun side game mode, but I feel it really does have a lot of potential. Something which is to be discussed in another video very soon. I don't want to make this into a 30 minute sitting talking about the Battle Royale mode. Does the free to play raise concerns? 
For sure it does, especially how bugs and most importantly how it got a little bit easier for cheaters accessing the game. I'm saying a little bit because quite frankly, you still have to pay for the prime status to access all of CSGO's beauty. And someone who is spending the enormous amount of time to level his account up to rank 21, I highly doubt a player who wants to take the easy route and cheat to beat his opposing side will take the time to level up his account. Is cheating really that much easier now? I don't think so. You were able to access the prime status and new accounts for a lot less money already already on various sites. The sales of Cisco always made people stack up accounts and then resell them for their own profit. I just don't see how the free-to-play decision in the way that Valve released it will get us flooded with bad, filthy people that cheat. The big problem I see, however, is that it will affect the mentality of a lot of players. He can't be better than me. He must be cheating. Will probably occur a lot more now that it free-to-play is a thing. A valid concern is that all of the sale accounts and smurfs now got prime status instantaneously, which might result in a short period of more bans. But for now, we should be fine with systems like VAC, Trust Factor, Overwatch, and all of the jazz that we get to experience daily. Only time will tell, but I doubt, I really doubt, we will have as much of a hard time as people are making it out to be. Also remember, criticism and raising concerns is very good, but give it a try first and then raise them. Provide feedback and help shape the game. In just under 24 hours after the update got released, Valve already hotfixed a lot of bugs that people brought up, such as the Molotov bug not exploding after being a certain time in the air, 100% damage through walls, presenting a new comment so people can only join the service if they own Prime, essentially eliminating a flood over new accounts cheating on third party services like Faceit. So, is this update really that bad? It does raise concerns, especially the free to play part, but I'd say quite the opposite from what I've read from the majority. Good job, Valve. Oh, and about the new skins. Yeah. The first wave of missiles are about to be fired. Shit, did you see me? No, I'm just gonna go down here. see me, I don't see you. You don't hear me, I don't hear you. Wait. Did it just drop the gun outside? Dead. Supply drop incoming. <laughs> oh my god, it's uh Stop breathing in my ear! You're halfway dead. You're supposed to make no noises. What the fuck just happened? <laughs> How the fuck does he have an AK? Do you have a medkit? Yes. Uh, I don't think so. Poggers! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> 
god. He had no ammo left himself, dude. <laughs> <laughs>